I think a shaper is two things. The first thing is someone that has got a vision or an ambition to do something better than it's currently done today. But the second component, which is equally important, is that they don't just have the vision, they actually go about and do something to try and make that change a reality. The things that I look for in a trainee are being able to have those kind of mature discussions about capacity, being able to manage people's expectations and it being a two-way discussion in terms of what they have on and whether they can deliver to the timeline set. Enthusiasm, I would say, is the number one thing. The technical skills build over time, but you can't change how someone feels about something. And when someone has that feeling, it's kind of, it's contagious and it makes you feel good about them as a trainee. I find myself, I pick up like different working styles from different people and like merge it into my own because everyone's so different. You just become like the best version of everyone around you. I think there is so much more to just those big name cases at Mishcon. There's also so much pro bono work that the firm does that I've been lucky enough to be involved with. And that as a trainee is great because you get to see beyond high net worth individuals and really big corporates, you get to see actual real life people that you're helping. The Social Mobility Committee uh, has four different divisions and we all focus on lots of different parts of that. My specific division focuses on access to the profession, making sure that people have opportunities, especially if they've come from a disadvantaged background. One thing that I really struggled with having access in the industry to was information, particularly as it's so competitive. Being able to provide the information that I, I would have thought would have unlocked a lot of things for me is why I do it. Determination was my pathway to becoming a lawyer. Not feeling disheartened when the door closes and when you have these rejections. But once I was successful, my passion for real estate, my hard work opened doors for the you know, where I am now. And I think that my advice to other people would be just don't be disheartened and to push and push and push until you achieve what you want to achieve. There is a lot of work done for people to get to know each other as people first and colleagues second. And the things that you got to learn about people's lives, particularly during the COVID period, uh, was really special. And you see that with the sense of togetherness, the spirit, the energy that people have when they're in the offices, the events that we put on, how well attended they are, and just how incentivized people are to turn up to work and get stuck in.